Hi, I'm Monica Bay at the University of Florida, where we are in the middle of a wonderful e-discovery project that's going on today. It's a day-long seminar, and it's just been fantastic. And I'm with Michael Dalowitz. Did I pronounce that right? Perfect, Monica. All right. So you are a graduate of the school, and now you're very, very involved with e-discovery. Tell us how you got there. Well, uh, after graduating from the University of Florida, uh, I moved back up to uh, New York Law School following a dean of UF Law School. Uh, and uh, after University of Florida became uh, one of the first e-discovery programs, actually, if not the first law school e-discovery program in the United States, I uh, brought that program, a uh, similar one, up to New York Law School and served as its uh, adjunct professor up there as well. And, uh, my career has, has taken an interesting path from uh, after practicing law. I, uh, it was about 10 years ago when, uh, you know, right before the federal rules had changed and this new evolution of e-discovery was there and I found myself the ability to become an expert because no one had that, that mindset over there. And uh, after joining, uh, joining up with Sedona, I got involved a lot on the educational standpoint of this industry. So we talked about the law school program. Uh, I got involved in jo early Georgetown, which is another e-discovery. Um, and you've also you know. now started your own company? Yeah, so I, after founding my other company, Peak Discovery, I started a new company two years ago called Inspired Review, <laughs> which focuses on alternative approaches to document review and goes into data analysis and analytics as well. And uh, also with the University of Florida Law School, uh, we just got an externship program approved where uh, as me in an advisory capacity with students uh, at the university, they get to uh, train under, uh, under myself and in an inspired review and obtain law school credits for that. That's great. I'm going to cut you off because I want to ask you a question Perfect. about how did you experience, uh, what we're trying to do is let the students know that going into e-discovery and, and, and embracing it is, is something that now is really going to enhance their career opportunities. You are in the middle of that. Tell us a little bit about how in your experience and what you are seeing, learning about e-discovery is helping the current students get the good jobs and get ahead. And, and this is a topic that's familiar to me and you know, in two weeks I'll actually be back at University of Florida doing a, uh, a, a panel with the pre-law students also. They, the university named me uh, 2015 Outstanding Young Alumni this year. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, I'll be doing leadership uh, um, uh, events uh, going around and talking to them about what paths they can do and also introducing them to my career in e-discovery okay, and how I want to get you, I'm going to cut all you right, up again right. because I want you to give the folks who can't, don't have the luxury to do that, what are some of the concrete things that students can get, whether whether they're here or in their other organizations? So with e-discovery, e it's not just document review, if that's what you've heard from your people. Um, it, it's, a, it's a necessity for modern litigators to have both an understanding of the, the legalese and laws around this, and also of some of the technologies and strategies that can help win your case. And as a litigator, uh, it's important to be that full service litigator and other large law firms that you might want to attend to, they're, they're bringing in both uh, merits counsel and discovery counsel under one umbrella in order to arm themselves with the ability to win cases. And if you're, if you're looking to be a litigator, that's great. And otherwise, there's alternative careers you can go into. You could become uh, project managers, you could become consultants, you could, um, you know, it's not just about document review. There's a lot of options out there and it's an exciting world. And what's really interesting is that these are some of the opportunities that may put you in the front of the line with, against your peers in a very competitive job market right now. Um, interestingly, uh, one of the areas that's really growing in terms of, of hiring e uh, students and lawyers who have e-discovery experiences in the corporate council. So any last advice for individuals who who are debating what they're going to do in law school and why they should learn these learn these skills? Well, especially if you're gonna if you think you're, of yourself going into litigation or, as you said, uh, you know, corporations are developing these discovery council positions. Uh, you know, there are some partner track positions with discovery at these firms, but most importantly take e-discovery courses. It's going to give you open up options. It's going to give you an edge versus all the other students. And, um, you know, 
Hopefully you get the, the ability to uh, you know, work with our externship program and be under the tutelage of Bill Hamilton's course at uh, UF Law, which is tremendous. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Monica Bay. Thank you for listening.